Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMags.com. Today we're looking at ramp launching and just the simple ways to do it, how not to do it, and how to avoid that horrible word, ramp rage. The first thing to do is prepare your boat before you put it in the water. And you don't do this on the ramp. You do this a little bit at home, and you do it either in the car park or lined up in a queue when you're going in. Nothing worse than arriving down there and holding everybody up. First thing I always do before I go out is just turn the key on. Turn the battery on, turn the key on. Make sure the motor's gonna go. Simple thing, you could have had it sitting there for three months, it doesn't work. You've obviously made sure you've got enough fuel and you've got fuel in the engine and everything's gonna work. So when you get to the ramp, you're not holding everybody up because the motor won't start. The next thing you've got to do is make sure you've got all the stuff on the boat. You don't put your chili bin in and your wakeboard and your skis and your umbrellas or whatever at the ramp. Do that at home. Put them in the boat. So when you get to the ramp, all you've got to do is put your bungs in, take your tie downs off, make sure the engine lock is off, take the, the flag off the back of the engine and you can back it down the ramp, unhook it and you're done. Now he's backing down the ramp and uh, whoop, he's actually got a little bit wrong, sort of overcorrected. He's overcorrecting again, he's still going to miss the ramp. No, he's, he's not going to make it. So what he does now, stop, go ahead, line it up again so that he's bang on. And using the wing mirrors, he should be able to see straight down the ramp and get it nice and straight. It's, it's that easy. And, and don't be afraid and, and just take it easy. Don't go hard. Hard turns, hard movements just accentuate the problem. Now he's got it nice and straight now, down the middle of the ramp, so you just take it far enough in so that the wheels are in the water or the back of the boat's far enough in to get it off so it doesn't hit the ramp. Okay, that's backing it in nice and straight now, just get it far enough in. So what I'll do now is I'll go over and just undo the shackle. You never take the shackle or the safety, the safety chain or the rope off before you hit the ramp. Take it off early, you can easily launch your boat in the ramp. I've done that with a big smuggler once at Wongapa, and it was very embarrassing. So then we undo the winch. Now because this is a multi-roller trailer, it comes off really easy. So what I do is that, put a couple of hooks around there. Be careful of that, it's a flaying weapon. Unhook that, and then let it off like that, really easily. You obviously I've made sure there's no one behind me. Get the rope, throw it across to the person over there. We're lucky here at Gulf Harbour because we've got a, uh, a jetty which we can tie up to. Secret now is Doug's tying the boat up. I'll jump in here, get out of here and park the car. Don't hold the ramp up. Okay, now we've been out for our day's fishing and we've got a limited snapper, I wish, and uh, we're going to take the boat out. So retrieval is very much the same as launching. Um, it's a bit of etiquette too. A lot of boat ramps, uh, those coming in get right away to those going out, as the case is here at Gulf Harbour. Not all ramps are the same. So it's just common courtesy and uh, to avoid that horrible word, I'll bring it again, ramp rage. So okay, Doug, back, back the trailer down and we'll show you what we do. So the first thing is to get the boat straight. With these multi-rollers, they're just amazing for accuracy and making your boats go on the ramp on the trailers really easy. So yeah, keep it coming. Keep it coming. That'll do. Okay, bring the boat far enough up the trailer as you can. Hook the winch wire on. Okay, Doug, just keep it straight. Get the tension on the on the, on the rope here and it comes up real easy. Also make sure your motor's tilted up, otherwise you'll be scratching the aluminium skeg on the bottom. Bring the boat up to the snubbing block. So while I'm on the boat ramp here, shackle, and uh, we're ready to go. And pull it out, and again, when you pull the boat out, get out of the way because you probably want to do things before you take it back home. You might want to pull a canopy down or clean something out of it. So get out of the boat ramp, get out of the way, and uh, make it enjoyable for everybody else.
So that's our take on ramp launching. It's pretty simple. We've come back in, bungs are out, the flag's back on, what sort of flag it is, tie downs are on, the motor's locked, we're ready to go. The big thing about making life easy on the ramp is the three C's. Common sense, care and courtesy. And that applies to you and all the other fellow boaties. So if you do that, don't make a fuss, just go along with the flow, make sure everything works right, then you won't have that horrible word come up, ramp rage. So, hey, happy boating. <laughs>